everybody, welcome to JLB Sports TV. I'm Justin Block, and today Stoke City defeated Liverpool 1-0 at the Britannia Stadium. Now, the first half, Stoke went in leading 1-0, but Liverpool created you know some nice passing triangles, but really got a little going in the final third at all. Um, the big story of the first half, of course, was the Carragher penalty. Uh, I think it was a fair penalty. I know much a lot of Liverpool fans on Twitter were saying, oh, no, that's not a real penalty, that's not a penalty, he went down too easily. Well, yeah, you could say maybe he went down too easily, but Carragher was basically bear-hugging him, has hands wrapped around the guy's waist. Um, you can't do that as a defender in the box. Uh, I had no problem with that penalty call at all. And in the second half, Stoke basically dug in. Uh, they basically had all their outfield players to behind the ball. They had no interest in really getting forward, and they were just going to defend that one nothing lead. Liverpool, in total, actually held 73% of the possession and had 24 shots, 7 of which on goal, um, which are just stats that completely favor Liverpool. You would think that they'd be able to win this game. Um, sadly, it wasn't their day. The Stoke defense was very, very stout. And, um, Liverpool basically camped out in their final third, but they're just too many red and white shirts. Um, so just great discipline defending by Stoke and, of course, some last-second blocks um, from shots on the ball. The only total error by Stoke was letting Jordan Henderson run through the middle uncovered on a counterattack. By my count, he missed two one-on-one -on -one opportunities, another follow-up, and Charlie Adam had one shot blocked and another one saved. You would think that when Liverpool get five shots against basically an empty net, they would get a goal. Um, no goals were made, which is completely unreal. This game was just... I, I didn't think it was real. I didn't think it was real. Just too many things happened in Liverpool's favor for them not to win. Of course, um, I guess the one thing that didn't go in their favor was the uh, goal count. In my mind, Charlie Adam really stood out. He didn't really have that great of a game at all. He offered little in defense, committed a lot of silly, silly fouls, which is really becoming a thing for Charlie Adam. I noticed that um, he's not the strongest in tackle, and he really makes some dumb, dumb fouls all over the field. Uh, He's renowned for his passing, but today he really didn't have his passing touch at ever. Very inconsistent on the way to the ball. Um, didn't have his greatest game in a Liverpool shirt thus far. Stuart Downing, however, played great. He started on the left, but he really played on the right side on the second half, which isn't his natural side, but he still whipped in beautiful rainbows of crosses. Um, the ball was always passed back to him in the final third for him to create something, for him to create a ball, um, for him to create a pass in that opportunity. Uh, Liverpool trusted Stuart Downing with uh, the opportunity creations and passing, and frankly, he did, he did well, but Stokes defending and Liverpool's, um, I guess, ingenuity and trying to find the final touch and trying to find the final strike wasn't there. I also thought that Jose Enrique had his best offensive game in the Liverpool shirt. He ran rampant on the left, um, always had some great passes. He was just always in the final third, always overlapping, um, creating great balls. His crossing was nice. And um, he's, the actual, he's the one that actually created the long ball that sent Henderson um, down the field for that five-shot uh, mess of an opportunity. Once again, Andy Carroll was benched in favor of Dirt Cout as a second striker, which is becoming something to watch, I think. Uh, Carroll eventually needs to get on the field with Suarez and score. Uh, he's too important to Liverpool. I don't want to say he's too expensive because I don't want to really mention the price anymore, but he's a player that's very important to Liverpool, has a ton of physical talent, has a ton of potential, and he eventually needs to get on the field and score with Suarez. Um, that needs to happen sooner or later in my mind for Liverpool to have a more successful campaign. In the end, Liverpool definitely deserved a better result, especially after Suarez missed an open net off a rebound in extra time. Let's just let's not think of that anymore. Um, it was a very deflating, disappointing result after controlling much of the game. In my eyes, the match was really just one giant. 